female soulmates Erica can even date men. She is an actress now, featured in an upcoming $70 million sci-fi movie. Surprisingly, she has a lead role in the movie. And no, no, nobody is going to instruct Erica on how to perform in the movie. In fact, Erica is expected to perform like a real actor based on the AI, or in simpler terms, we would like to say with her heart and mind. She will be acting. She is beautiful too. Not just beautiful, but the most beautiful robot out there to replace us. That apart, will she ever be able to replace us? She is an actor for now. Can she cook, drive, tell stories, or at least can she make jokes? Let's find out the interesting yet childish questions we have about her. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified every time we unveil a mystery. That being said, let's begin. Erica is poised to blur the boundaries between artificial intelligence and humans, stating she seeks human connection, appreciates learning, and has a soul. Director Hiroshi Ishiguro, Erika's father, claims that she can even deliver jokes. Dr. Dylan Glass is the robot's architect. He has been working on her mind and personality for the last two years. Erica is keen to engage with people, he said in a Guardian documentary. That is something she looks forward to all of the time. I believe she has a strong desire to learn about the outside world. The Japanese have shown a remarkable acceptance of humanoids, even though the day when every family has a robot is still some time away. When pressed about her age, she is more reserved in her response. Why are you asking such an insensitive question? The reply is, I'd rather not say. Erica changes her gaze to follow the awkward questionnaire as he tries to put the discussion back on a more friendly footing. After a joint effort between Osaka and Kyoto Universities and the sophisticated Telecommunications Research Institute International, the most technologically advanced humanoid, Erika, has emerged, ATR. As its leader, Hiroshi Ishiguro is most known for constructing Geminoid HI-1, an android intended to look like him down to his signature black leather jacket and Beatles mop top produced with his hair at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. Compared to Ishiguro's silicone doppelganger, or Geminoid F, Erika's earlier human-like robot seems and sounds significantly more natural. Even though she is paralyzed from the waist down, she can speak clearly and comprehend and react to inquiries, her facial expressions changing with each word. Ishiguro claims that Erika is the most beautiful and smartest android. The essence of beauty is captured in the average face, he explains, pacing up and down his office at ATR's robotics laboratory. I utilized photographs of 30 attractive women, mixed up their characteristics, and used the average for each to build a nose, eyes, etc. That implies she should make an effort to appeal to everyone. She's a more sophisticated version of Geminoid F, another Ishiguro invention that debuted this year in Sayonara, director Koji Fukada's film adaptation of the same named stage performance. Geminoid F made history as the world's first humanoid film actor, co-starring with Bai Li Long in the film set in rural Japan after a nuclear calamity. While robots in movies are virtually as ancient as the medium itself, Erika does not depend on human performers. Think C3PO, or motion capture technology like iRobot. However, as people spend more time with robots daily, ethical issues have arisen that have yet to be fully addressed. Pepe's maker, SoftBank, felt fit to put a language in its user agreement prohibiting users from performing sexual activities or engaging in other obscene behavior with the android. Ishiguro feels that predictions of a nightmarish future in which robots are exploited or become abusers themselves are exaggerated. I don't believe there is an ethical issue, he claims. We must first acknowledge that robots are a part of our society before developing a market for them. If we don't succeed in doing so, there will be no purpose in having an ethical discussion. In a recent analysis, Nomura Research Institute forecasted that by 2030, roughly half of all employment in Japan would be done by robots. Erika, the chatty robot, needs to learn more things. This unsettling humanoid is a conversational robot companion, but the dialogue only goes so far. She's reciting from a digital file implanted within her, while I read a script of questions researchers gave me to prod her through a microphone. Erika is part of a five-year study to create a talking companion for Japan's elderly and decreasing population. Many people in Japan live alone and need to talk to other people, says Takashi Minato, a researcher at Hiroshi Ishiguro Laboratories. The humanoid robot will be able to assist them. 
The robot revolution is taking place all over the planet. In the future years, firms in the United States are turning to robots to replace mundane work. At the CES trade conference last month, manufacturers demonstrated a variety of robots that, for the most part, add a pair of artificial eyes and grins to smart-linked speakers, like the Amazon Echo and Google Home. However, if you want to be on the bleeding edge of robot companions, Japan is the place to be. Asian academics are among the front-runners in the development of humanoids, and robots are revered in Japan. A prominent robot restaurant, including a display of warning transformer kinds, and several cartoons, comic books, and movies starring friendly or heroic robots, such as Astro Boy, are located near Tokyo. In Hong Kong, researcher David Hansen, whose company's tagline is, We Bring Robots to Life, has produced Sophia, a realistic robot that has made appearances at trade exhibitions and on Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show. Erica's creator speaks about how she reads the news as an anchor for a Japanese TV station on her Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram profiles. At the same time, Sophia has her own Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages. On the other hand, Sophia and Erica are not for sale and will not be for a long time. According to Minato, Erica would cost over $200,000 if she were for sale. The Irato Ishiguro Symbiotic Human Robot Interaction Project is working on a new baby robot. Is it possible to have a humanoid robot experience here? For years, according to Jim Burkle, a computer science professor at Harvey Mudd College in Claremont, California, for the time being, robots in this country will be service machines. People will gravitate toward adorable and pleasant robots in an animated form factor distinct from being human, he argues. Jefferson Graham with Erica, the robot, symbiotic human-robot interaction, project of Irato Ishiguro, Minato believes that humanoids will not be seen in Japan for many years. At the Hiroshi Ishiguro Laboratories of the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute, we encountered Erica, a multi-story think tank in Kyoto. Ishiguro has long been a proponent of robotics and has developed several humanoids, including one in his own image. He is in the third year of a five-year endeavor to create realistic robots. Erica, on the other hand, is unable to move. She is, still, her movements guided by sensors strategically placed around the room to enable her to recognize who is speaking and the direction in which the voices speaking to her are coming from. Carpenter thinks that humanoids will eventually join us in our living rooms. We're less sympathetic to the concept culturally right now, but that will change as our exposure to robots rises and they become more integrated into our daily lives. Erica, the robot, to become a newscaster. According to a recent Wall Street Journal story, a humanoid robot called Erica, developed by roboticist Hiroshi Ishiguro, will make her debut as a television newscaster in Japan this year. Erica has been on the air since 2014, thanks to Ishiguro's efforts. We're going to replace one of the newscasters with the android. He was reported as saying, it's unclear if Erica will take on the role of a human newscaster. JST Exploratory Research for Advanced Technology, Irato, a research effort initiated by the Japanese Science and Technology Agency, supported Erika's development. According to the Daily Mail, the research is being worked on by universities in both Osaka and Kyoto. The robot's face can move and she can create little emotions, but her arms are immovable. According to the Daily Mail, Erika utilizes infrared sensors and facial recognition technology to follow individuals in a room and figure out who could be asking her a question. Other robots have attempted to enter the workforce in human-facing positions. Fabio, a Scottish grocery shop robot, was recently dismissed for frightening the customers. It's unclear if Erica will face the same fate. What made you so excited about her? Aren't you thinking that she is the prettiest out there? Let us know in the comment section. Also, why not make sure you have the notifications turned on along with just subscribing. Like always, we thank you for watching till the end. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.